Hey, how's it going, everybody? Right now, I'm going to go over how to make and reconstruct a song good enough for a DJ to use as an intro. Let me explain. A lot of songs, like this Enrique Iglesias song right here, they just start out. No fuss, no muss, and bam, there's the beat, the hook, the chorus. It all just drops in at once. And a lot of times, there's not even a instrumental available. In this case, there was, but I wanted to do a tempo transition You'll notice when this track started, we were down at 100 BPM at this beat that I reconstructed. And then using the techniques I went over in the other tutorial on time management, it slowly ramped up from 100 BPM to 126 BPM. So what I did is I extracted a piece of the kick drum from a portion of the song, I believe from the instrumental, and I filtered it out in my wave editor. And I took some other sounds from my library and I kind of just reconstructed a similar beat. I routed it all to a group channel to try to get some of that mastering, that limiting that would be on the, on the final version. Now, with software, I can't duplicate what they did in this mastering house, but I leveled it out close enough to make it usable for a DJ. I also extracted some chord changes from the instrumental and I put several filters and bandpass filters and EQs and a delay just to kind of reference the song as it comes in so a DJ can give the crowd a hint that it's about to go down into this other song. And I have some parameters on my filters, etc., all automated in this section. Now, this is the interesting part. These eight bars I took from the original song, and I actually used Recycle, but I could have done it in here too. I time stretch it down from 126 to 100. The first four bars, I took an eight bar loop, I chopped it in half, four bars, one, two, three, four, and then another one, two, three, four. And I recycled each of those, the first one at 100, so that the slices would fit in between the beats at this tempo let me solo this part so we can hear that so as you hear it speeds up with the tempo track but if i had just sliced up one bar of or an eight bar loop of this at 126 beat per minute at 100 beats per minute the slices would have chopped off prematurely because they'd be playing back at a different tempo now the quality is not that great because it's such a drastic tempo change but because it's filtered in as an intro very drastic but with the filters, etc., you don't hear it. And if a DJ was mixing this in a club set, this second eight bars of this track would still be most likely playing at the end of the next song, would be going here and here, and then he would fade out as this beat drops because this is such a dramatic intro. I know you want me. So there's a lot more going on here with the automation and things like that, but that just is an idea. If there's no instrumental or there's no clean way because, you know, this song is so busy, even in the instrumental, there's uh, Enrique's humming this melody in the background, auto-tuned, and it's just kind of phased left and right. It's, it's just very busy now when you're mixing that with the end of another track. Um, that just really is a lot going on. So this was a clean way to both mix the song. I did another version of this that um, didn't tempo change. Just nice, clean intro. I don't know why labels don't make that available, but that's where remix services come in. And um, people like me who do this for DJs, I've been doing this uh, since my first sampler had less memory in it than your cell phone and chopping up pieces of whatever I can and, and reassembling it. So there it is. You can also do it on the outro. I think on this one, I just left it at the the tempo. You know that tonight I'm loving you. See, I did a little crafty 
fade there because the downbeat still had vocals on it. So I just looped that part and went out to the end. And then there's some more um, beats at the end for the person who wasn't prepared and doesn't know their tracks, which is very important to being a good DJ. So there it is. You can recreate this in any digital audio workstation, provided you have a tempo track that gives you that amount of freedom and a drum library that lets you pick and choose something close enough to be EQ'd, compressed, and then grouped together and semi-remastered into the same level as uh, the original song and you should be good to go. All right, see you guys on the next video.